We've now had three bombs in Volgograd in two months, two bombs in two days. And although Volgograd isn't closely linked uh, to Sochi particularly, it's in the same broad geographical area, uh, there's no great reason for an upsurge in attacks like this other than the Sochi Winter Olympics, which are only six weeks ago. We've just been watching the first pictures coming in from the scene in Volgograd, and it's pretty serious. The bus has basically been opened up by the bomb. Only the bit around the driver is still intact. The rest of the bomb is, but rest of the bus is completely destroyed. It's a trolley bus, which is which is still common in Russia. A bus driven by electricity, taken from overhead wires. It was busy. It was just after eight o'clock in the morning during the rush hour. Many people are rushing around doing their last-minute shopping before New Year. The trolley bus was pulling into one of the busiest stops on the route. Uh, where people change off onto, onto a tram, uh, and it seems that at least 15 people have been killed, including a, a one-year-old child. And as you said, uh, this comes less than 24 hours after that devastating bomb in the central railway station in Volgograd, in which at least 17 people were, were now killed, according to the latest death toll. Daniel, tell us more about Volgograd. What kind of place is it? Is it a, is it a large city? What's the region comprising of? Yes, it's a big city, a city of over a million people, and of course famous uh, under its previous name of Stalingrad, the scene which is uh, of what was believed by many to be the turning point of the Second World War, the place where Hitler's armies were turned back by the Soviet Union's army, and so therefore a very, very important city in Russian hearts, and uh, some experts think that may be why it was targeted, because it's uh, the scene of one of Russia's greatest military victories. Perhaps that's the reason why the bombers might have chosen to attack Volgograd particularly. It's the gateway to the south, the transport hub into Russia's south. Uh, but still, that's all that said, it's still 700 kilometers from Sochi and also 700 kilometers uh, from those troubled Caucasus republics like Dagestan and Chechnya and Ingushetia, uh, which are believed to be the cause of all the trouble which has led to these bombings.